Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you, Sam, for that wonderful report and this uh, ongoing decades of service you do to the industry by uh, maintaining and continuing to update that. Where is marketing headed? Now, this is a very dodgy thing to talk about because the only thing which is certain is that things are going to move faster than I think and probably different from what I think. That's the only guaranteed thing. But uh, let me give it a bash. Let me start with the good. Sam kind of sounded a little pessimistic, but I think the first bit of the good news is this pie is going to keep growing, especially in India, and there's no doubt about it. It might shift from channel A to channel B, but we are an underpenetrated, an underserved, and an underconsuming country by almost all benchmarks. Now, so this pie is going to grow in the lifetime of uh, just about everyone in this room. Technology is moving faster than you can imagine. People who've been around as long as I have and Sam has, when 90% of that spend was in cinema, <laughs> know how fast technology has changed. The only thing which is certain about technology is it's going to change faster than anyone ever in this room thinks. And that's going to throw up huge opportunities to connect with the consumer. Risks, yes, but every new technology brings risks. But that's good news. For someone of our profession, the other great news, in my opinion, is brands are not going to become less important. They are going to become more important. Our lives, our consumers' lives, are getting more and more complicated. I don't want to spend half an hour on an e-commerce web page or in a modern trade store or in a Kirana store deciding which shampoo I want to buy. Brands make that easy for me. So the value of brands are going to only increase with the clutter which is coming in life. And for the advertising profession, that's got to be good news because our fundamental job is to build brands. With the good comes the bad. I almost in my first line out here, first point road, advertising equals spam. But then I thought that given the audience I'm speaking to, that may not be politically correct to put it down on paper. But really, who here has not got irritated by WhatsApp business messages? Who has been browsing a web page and tried to kick that little X to close that stupid ad which opens up? It's almost an irritant. In the old days, it was only about switching channel. And who hasn't done that? Who in this room has not, in between cricket overs, switched to the football game and then switched back? So it's, who has time? And that has changed so much. In fact, it's interesting. I mean, we're a week after the Super Bowl. Probably the only event left in the world where people say, I want to see the ads. Doesn't exist anywhere else. Trust. You're going to build brands? You're going to build a relationship? You've got to build trust. 
trust in our society, on the messages we see, is going one way only. And that's going to keep getting worse, not better. Fragmentation will keep increasing. Now, to be clear, there are two elements, in my opinion, about this fragmentation. One is the element which has existed when there were 300 cable channels. That was also fragmentation. I had much more complicated ways and metrics and numbers to reach and figure out. You know, life was easy when uh, marketing was all about buy one spot on Sunday morning every week on Mahabharat, and I'm done. Right? However, there's a second part of the fragmentation, which is going to get worse. When I used to watch TV, or I used to read my newspaper, I used to watch that communication in a certain environment. It was the same environment, whether I was watching Star TV, Sony TV, reading Anand Bazar Patrika, or Times of India. Now, when I see it on my phone, I might be hanging on on the suburban train. Different environment. I might be, like to be honest, I was doing, checking the cricket score on my phone in a meeting. Right? The environments are so different. The advertising has to take that environment into account. That is a second very insidious form of fragmentation which will keep, keep occurring. And it's not as simple as saying, I used to make 30 seconders, now let me make five seconders. That is a challenge. Fundamentally, the power is now in the hands of the consumer. It used to be push. Now it is pull. I don't really want to listen to your message. I will access, uh, for example, a decade ago when someone used to buy a fan, what did they do? They had the brand in mind, okay? Crompton, good brand. They would ask a neighbor or a friend who they knew had bought a fan recently. Finally, they go to the electrical shop, have a conversation and buy a fan. Today, more than 80% of the people who purchase a fan have gone through a shopper journey digitally on the net somewhere before they arrive at the shop to buy. They pull what they want. They need a fan. Yes, they may start a Google search words, take them somewhere, take them somewhere, but they pull it. The power is not with the brand owner anymore. It is with the consumer. The next slide is especially for Balki. What does not change in winning advertising? It does not matter what technology comes. It does not matter what algorithm you use. Two things don't change. They've been true since PNG made the first soap opera in the 1910s or 1920s. They are true today, and they will continue to be true. Great winning marketing is rooted in the consumer and it is based on that great idea. I have often told my marketing folks that the number one ROI in marketing is great communication to the consumer. 
Of course, there's other stuff, but nothing works better than that. This does not change whether you're using AI, whether a 3D hologram is popping off my phone, whatever it may be. This, as marketeers, must be changes. What I believe does change, you have to build trust. Ultimately, our most valuable consumers are our loyal consumers. This loyal consumer base will only continue to become more valuable. Brands are like people. You need a relationship you trust. That means you have to be authentic. You can't be seen as spam. You have to show up in a way and when the person wants you or needs you. The other thing which is happening is this whole idea of, uh, and it's going to accelerate, I believe, a purpose. People now, more and more, look for something more. They like to associate themselves with celebrities, with brands, with things whose purpose they understand and whose purpose aligns with their purpose. Now, it doesn't matter whether I agree or disagree with a particular person's ideology or point of view, but as a brand, I must have that purpose. What do I stand for? What am I trying to do? What do I mean for you? Because people now start looking at that. And the fragmentation of social media and the ability and the creation of a two-way communication where once we used to have a one-way communication, now gives voice to that purpose which people are looking for. And it blows up in your face within, uh, yeah, less than a minute now. So, Purpose becomes important in the whole idea of brand building and marketing. Finally, technology. Who knows where technology is going to go? Who knows whether any of our jobs in this room will remain? But the reality is that this technological change is going to come. It's going to accelerate. Artificial intelligence is already happening today. In Crompton, for example, and if in, we're doing it in Crompton, I'm sure many, many more people are doing it. Today, it is absolutely important to have on-point fast response on social media, be it a Twitter, be it an Instagram, be it a LinkedIn. We used to try and do that manually. Now we have AI-generated responses, and we know that within 20 minutes, any of them are answered on point and back to the consumer. These tools are going to come more and more. Given this fragmentation, the last thing I'd like to say is I cannot agree more with Sam that there has to be a way to measure multiple media. When it was only simple TV and maybe a little print, you could do it separately. But now, as you have multiple messages going in multiple times, you know, I was, uh, when Sam was presenting, I was uh, mentioning to Vikram, uh, we spend a huge amount of money on uh, e-commerce. But e-commerce is a little difficult to separate because one, you're spending money as a sales channel, but it is also the advertising location for a lot of people. A lot of people today don't necessarily go to Google. 
to look for a brand or product and reviews. They go straight to, an Am to Amazon, right? So this ability to measure across which Sam raised is going to become, I believe, a more and more critical thing for the industry. So with that, uh, thank you very much. And um, the caveat is if none of this comes true, it's not my fault. Okay, <laughs> take care. Thank you.